off the 1v2 if he needs to. When you're looking at this, though, you think, okay, Fur's got to get his kill in the post plan. Liquid are getting these kills too quickly. He still comes in just in the nick of time to win the round. <laughs> CSGOFest.com, o líder em grande quantidade de game mods para vocês. Apostas em esportes, retiradas fáceis e presentes para os usuários regulares do site. Então, entre no primeiro link da descrição e boa sorte. That's right. That's what I like to hear. That's it, Let's baby. Let's go! And my VR to the T side, that's where they're going to start the party. And we got a second set of utility picked up right before it goes live. Hmm, interesting. What is the strategy out the gate? And Twist still tucked into this. I mean, oh, Mayer crouches outwards. Doesn't know that angle enough to hold him back. There's Nav in from above. And they get the best of it. Two kills to one. Retreat into the bomb site and lock down this 4v2. But Fur may have found a little bit of space to play with over at that A site. So let Fallen dump out this utility. Let that draw the rotation over, which you see in the CT floating in his spawn. But that's it. That's the duel that mattered. And Stewie picks it up. Yeah, it's a good try. You know, give it your best shot. Coming into B, they knew that Twist loved to get into that corner position. Getting the trade was the most difficult part. You saw Fallen just holding on to the angle, just expecting him to peek just a little bit, but he wouldn't give it to him. Bomb, will it get planted? No, not a chance in hell. Oh. Leash takes him out. They're just gonna let this smoke fade, but Stewie catches the kneecaps, and he takes down Taco. Quick reaction. But he doesn't fall all the way back. No, he sticks around for another chance at bat and almost toppling KNG. But he'll fall 4v4, and now that opens a door for them potentially to move up to this A site. Nath has one of the shortest, smallest, and least intimidating guns in the game. But this is the MP9 at close range. It can put in work. We'll see Headshot in and Fallen is out. He'll turn in the corner and look for more, but Fur is the one who wins that duel. And a crucial one at that. That's the bomb being retrieved there. So thank goodness they had two players doubling up off short side. KNG is going to give cover with as little HP as he still has. Remember, there is Mayern still alive, but on the other side of the map. And seeing as he doesn't want to give away info, he's just going to wait. KNG, a bait, and a difficult position. He's stuck to the fight. Fur down. And now it's all on Mayern. But they still don't know. And they're going to tap that bomb. Solely focused over on ramp. He gets oh! the both. Woo! Mayern picking up a clutch. Okay. With the long B lurk. All right. We've had a few maps. Sandbags. Ready to tag the rest of this bomb site. It's really been Nafly at moments. I feel like he's, he's had good line of sight. Nice angles into the mix, but whoa, they're kind of clustered. They almost gave themselves there to the peak, but nope. Naf through smoke, takes Taco. Does allow for Fallen to fall back, but it's that big flank. Luckily, Nitro deals with it. Only one kill for KNG, but the position it puts them in is fantastic. Man advantage, despite low health on both Fallen and Fur. Remember, Naf, a stiff breeze busts him over. And he's the last one up with the most valuable gun, so he's gone. MIBR, they bleed that round down to the nitty gritty. Smoke grenade down on the bomb, I mean, that just makes things kinda wacky. Burt covers it back, they are just gonna tap. Twist tries to stick this, someone comes rushing in. He can still add losses to the tally. I mean, with no kit, this round's already gone, but Ooh. look at this, dropping all five players. All they were working with was... Two rounds, Stewie's just had to play from the sideline. Liquid are... Finding it difficult in these four, four V5s to go and seek out information. They don't seem to be that aggressive. Oh, Twist just wow. peeked this now. Next time, there's already players encroaching in way too close. He saw three bodies, and Mayer, and he's going to create all the space his team could possibly need. But Naf with a double. That's such a crucial moment from him. He loses a ton of his health. But at least he's still close to the site. And it's Fur with the continuous spray down to take him down. KNG ready. Another crisp headshot and another round for MIBR. 6-6. Six, six. Six. Yeah. Even clearing the board. You have to, have to, have to appreciate how fast they move in to be in that situation. Six rounds in a row and gunning for some more. But at least Liquid aren't letting off this aggression either. We saw it with the half by last round over towards B. This time straight back at the A site where we have seen Stewie fall round after round. Man advantage now taken by MIBR. Nafly alone here on mid. But Taco, he has slipped within this A play. Fallen. Ooh, tough Ooh. shot, but he hits it. You know, Easy pickings. You know that's where Fallen wants to be, right? Yeah. In the midst of the chaos, close quarters combat, that is Hallmark Fallen. They're going to plant their bomb off this. MIBR not stopping. This will be seven rounds in a row. Yeah. From 6-1 Liquid to 6-8 here for the Brazilians. Yeah. 
very decisive, and they and they're being very decisive. They're getting the cares where they find them, and they're always they're always winning these rounds now with liquid saving with two or three players. Like they're actually winning so dominantly at this point. There's not even a chance for those very sketchy post plants later on. Um, yeah, now it's just on to the save, and here, here's where MIBR get even more frisky. They're gonna go out and seek out Team Liquid, knowing that they're playing back in their sights. And Twist might finally have something to do here. There we go. Early Naf first shot, yeah. Leads a helping hand. Nafly, I gotta give you know some praise to in terms of Team Liquid. He's been throwing up frags. He's been rotating off of middle into A when needed. Let this sink in. Final and fifteenth round of the half. Oh, Nitro can't even get back. He was banking on the fact he could run through the Molotov, lose half his health, but at least get out a piece of utility first. And he does neither. Yeah, we got extra, extra guac on taco tonight. Yeah. Here we go, tuck back behind sandbags. Now, if they just let these smoke grenades fade and then give Fur a chance to duel this bomb site, I mean, they've fallen silent. Look at Team Liquid questioning themselves here. Nafly and the Liege both pulling back to watch middle right now. That puts Stewie alone in this moment, and Taco could possibly come walking through the smoke. Stu doesn't know. It fades. Ready for that. And, yep, he's down. Taco, not going to find anything else, but that at least creates enough space for Fallen to sprint in with Bomb, punch in the digits, and look to take MIBR to a 6-9 scoreline at the end of their T-side. How but perfect. it's not over. With nothing to lose here, they are going to attempt one last retake. Alige can't connect his spray. Twist is going to try to throw out some smokes here. Block off line of sight. Naf gets one step closer, but Fallen misses the shot. That gives him a very real chance. With the bomb already halfway gone, though, time is the biggest issue. Twist gets just one, and he is down. MIBR not stopping. The Flames... As they start off the CT okay. side. We know where the MIBR fans are. Can the Team Liquid fans please, if you're in the house, please, for the love of God, make some noise. Yeah? All right, a little bit late, a little bit labored. They're Come around. On. You got lots of time this half. Please, make some noise for your team. Let's go, let's go. Second pistol, hot and heavy already. Look at that mini-map. Look at the stack of players over here on this A site. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Mohan, about. Mohan, what have you started? Yes. I what have you done? It is, I don't want it to stop. Taco, the first one to fall. Twist. Ooh, he's up next, and Fur's gonna pop oh. some heads here on short, but Nafly gets around on the bomb site. Oh, it's back and forth. Back and forth to the 2v2 we go. KNG holds the line, KNG drops bomb, and Nitro now has to clutch this out. <gasps> he's got both of them turned, and oh, oh baby! Mayern, quick 90 degree snap, brat brat. B steps we go, twist. Not, he's playing like Mayern in that sense, leading up the B steps as he was here defending it just a few minutes ago. Coming around the corner, he's going to be the one elephant stomping across the site. Mayer takes advantage of that and will try to turn it into two with Nitro Ooh. to pull a bullet in his head and KNG's. Big one from Nitro. He's the reason this bomb goes down, but how about taking it over the line? Oh, Burn. Not going to give him the chance. They've been spread out. There's Fallen continuing to topple and Taco trying to keep his head in two directions. Takes a bit more damage and wants to get spammed back as Naf, but nope. Oof, close one. Yeah, that was actually one thing. One of the best parts about the Heat Team Liquid's T-side, when they went back to working on their A stuff, they were doing such a great job of putting... Did they give up the post plant? Does he get caught? Maybe, but he survives the gun duel. So Nitro's just gonna desperately try to plant this retreat if he can, which he will. Fur taken down and a 2v2 ensues, but Mayern hot on the response and twists the same. Now repositioning back over towards short fallen. Ooh, he doesn't look, wow, it's KNG yeah. dead. Easy. Separate 1v1s. Reload in with time. Smoke down. Now Fallen can go ahead and cross. Swaps to the op. Taps that bomb. Could very well look for the kill. A flashbang is crucial. Nitro, or excuse me, Naf is just desperate inside of the smoke. And that's it. That's all he needs. Uncertainty in the back of Fallen's mind. Oh, Fallen dies, loses the op. Ah, that's something there. Uh, Stewie, though, he's waiting no longer. He wants to cut down these numbers, and he'll do exactly that. Taco has an upwards position, so really it falls onto Fur, and with Nafly playing with his grenades, that's gonna put Nitro down to the clutch. His spray's wild, but still it connects. It's time that's the biggest issue. Taco taps it inside oh. the smoke. No, doesn't matter. 
sees the shoulder. Remember, first position unbeknownst to them, so Fallen very much playing the bait and switch, but it's not successful. At least he can come back in with yet another kill, and there it is, MIBR across the kill feed, ready to stamp out the flames of Team Liquid. It can't be stressed enough, that's an amazing trade from Fallen. Elijah is just going to go for the spray transfer, crouch right off of that. Fallen drops a liege, and it's not the first time Fallen's picked up the 5v4, but Sui turns his scope away at the worst possible time. Good assistance here from the flashbangs of KNG and MIBR. It's not like they're going to pick up one of these kills and then fall back. No, they stuck around for long enough to go to better. Dismantling Team Liquid's setup here at the base of A. Leaving them scratching their heads and desperate. At the 50-second mark, they'll fall. They have a smoke, a flash, and two mollies. Both players here on the cusp of the site. Twists should have died, but he'll be given a warning shot instead. And a molly that's not going to give KNG another angle. Fallen's being teased by these peaks. 30 seconds. If he can just continue to burn down this clock, then the rest of his team will rotate over before that bomb could ever go down. And he's going to hit a point where he could even just gamble his life away. Really hammer the nail into the coffin. He oh. finds the back of Twist turned, and he wants more. Three kills for Fallen's op here. Really taking the server by storm. MIBR secure fifths. He's even going to go one better here. Really fast forwarding his position into the B bomb site. Throwing down that ball. He's going to tell Fallen that he has crossed already. Twists, in fact, he's just going to go ahead and prioritize plan. This could be taking us to the 30th round. And Nitro's lurk in mid. That should finish it all. Fallen. Fallen's out. Fallen was critical. They know this. He's been the tormentor at A. Stewie feels way better knowing that Fallen's dead. He's been the guy to just kill him over and over again after he's basically passed the torch to Taco, but now Taco's the one with the op as well. So it'll be it'll be round two here on the on the A ramp. This is interesting. I like that it ends here or potentially oh, continues timing, from here. Timing, timing. Ooh, it's not been his friend. Stewie has to keep this scope glued to the left side. I know he's cautious of a short shelf peak, but here's Taco. Oh. He's gonna take a little bit of damage to the sandbags. There's a big clash set up here on ramp. Stewie's giving chase, and it is Liquid to come out on top of it all. KNG 1v3, nothing to lose. He is all in towards this A site. They beat their biggest demon. They finally got up the A ramp. They get into the site, bomb down 3v1. KNG, you would think no way in hell. Yeah, but this man is made of magic, and he's wielding his wand. Dodges that first flash, smokes begin to fade. How in God's name will he unearth these three T's from their post plant? Missing the first shot's not gonna make his job any easier. And down he goes, Team Liquid forcing it to OT. Pushes one deeper, there's fire all over this bomb site. Everybody's taking damage on the side of Team Liquid. And KNG catches Nap midair, but Nitro swings it back. Can he win this 1v2? This is like the fourth or fifth time he's been in this position. He sees it and he takes him! Liquid! All just setting up their execution. Whoa. KNG drops the double. Still an even bomb thrown back down. Twists now 1v2. He's seen Nitro do it just a round prior. But 20 seconds left and he needs that bomb, so he sprints. And he's gonna find it. <gasps> Nearly no contest, are you kidding? Bullet! Through the box and back to the site. But Mayern's tucked himself behind on shelf and twists. 10 seconds, caught off guard. MIBR, tie it. Zero way for Team Liquid to get anywhere other than this A site. Yes. Oh, oh, but that's gonna help. That is surely going to help. With the rest of the CTs on the other side of the smoke, that one frag is what enables this bomb plant. And suddenly MIBR go from locking down a flank to being smoked off on flank with so much space to still make up and a man disadvantage. So they'll cross their fingers and try to get back into this. Nothing to lose except for Fur, who's gone down off the top rope. Mayern toppled next and KNG slain Woo! as Team Liquid remain in the lead. So many bodies stacked up in such a tight position. It's ops v ops on each side of this. And Fallen is going to extend the gap between the teams with another frag at that. Four versus two, and they lock down this B site in the post plant. Huge approach here from MIBR to take the site so quickly, 
to get up into Twist's face as he was playing passively, expecting the round to be a lot longer. And then once they got on, they had such a good post line. It's very solid. Even though they had Mullet, they had Nick had thrown that same Molotov that he's been throwing. Thinks about maybe switching to the Krieg. Can't get his hands on it. Awkwardly at six seconds. Now it's just frags. Just frags his only chance, and they're going to hide from him. Played with. You saw it. MIBR tried to copy and paste that strategy from the last round. This time they've changed it up. Taco, he is absolutely rolling onto the A site 5v3 already. And he's just going to keep on going and keep on going. Three kills into the A site, but they don't know about Nitro. He has been left to his own devices. With Twists having picked up a kill and him now knowing that there's a back turn. If he plays it carefully, oh. he knows. And they haven't cleared him just yet, but the bomb is going over towards B. Mayern has made he's getting his out way. Played. Clear. That's oh, it. Mayern did it. It's it's not a flashy highlight type moment, but now Nitro's position known. They get gamed on that A site. You'd think Taco's leading this charge, just gunning down players on the A site. Oh my God. I mean, for him to have that level of confidence on an entry, fantastic. Yeah. But MIBR double OT, and they have been successful at that in the past as well. So not fully against them, kind of throwing caution to the wind, even though it's such an important moment. Run boosts out. Mayer, he gets the kill off it too. Twist has popped off. His main enemy is gone so fast. They execute that perfectly. Mayer just flies through the skies like an angel of death. Twist never saw it coming. And they haven't pulled that out since like the very beginning of their T side in regulation. Wow. And Beautiful. it didn't work the last time. No, Twist was already in position. Mayern just gets splattered like a bug on the windshield last time. Not the case. KNG sees the feet, can't stop Nitro from at least responding with one kill. But still, MIBR, they're in a great position. It's been a long time since it's uh, anyone's been on fire. And that's because obviously this is in the second OT Elite. Well timed smoke. They Very well timed this? smoke. Will they even care? Yeah, they're, they're waiting. He's got nah. He, he's got too many opponents on the other side of the smoke. We know it's a liege. I don't think that matters. Though, we have a, a new fighter joining in, and it looks like MIBR still want to try to bully their way into B. Hey, if this is an or, hey, if this is an execute server, this two v four, this would be standard practice. There'd still be a chance here for the CTs. Damn. But now they start to Bro. rethink themselves. The smoke comes back. Maybe their attention will be turned as well. Big brained. The waiting game is the way MIBR are going to slip away with this. I mean, at least they'll find the plant. A Molotov down on. Oh, oh he stopped it! Four! Taco three, has no time! Five. That's sickening! Picks up a kill crucially over towards B, but that's just one player, the only player at the base of B site. Mayern's been there alone, round and round again. Stewie's Ooh. just so exposed, and he never thought of turning attention. Nitro caught with nades, mistakes being made by Liquid, giving a chance at MIBR to get back into this, but it is still 3v3. Everybody's in the same position now! Oh my god, what? He just runs right through! They maintain the man advantage most importantly. Going. Oh. But Nav, he continues his dominance with the spray. Two more come and become his prey. Mayern brings it back to the 1v1. He's been alone at B time and time again. And Stu takes him through smoke. He's not flashed off of the angle. They had no utility to play with. Nitro again in a 1v2. 1v2. Fifth time's the charm. Jumps back into the post plant, but it's not planted for stairs, not entirely. An awkward angle for him to hold. Fallen's gonna walk right into oh. it. He loses his head, and with map one on the line, Liquid are gonna take it. Oh my god. 20